Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 35 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, off camera I decided to go to the places that I haven't visited yet to open their treasure charts, which I just got before. Northern Fairy Island had 200 rupees. The Four Eye Reef had a certain chart called the Great Fairy Chart, which is actually very good in case you don't know where those are. And I went to Rockspar Isle to get a heart piece, which explains why I have 15 or 16, I'm sorry, 16 units of health right now. Um, what was the next place I went to? Oh yeah, Bomb Island, that also had a heart piece. Boating Course gave me the Sea Hearts chart, which allows me to find where the uh, heart pieces under the sea are. Five Eye Reef also had 200 rupees. I believe that's all I visited. No, there was one more. It was a uh, Mother and Child Isles that also had 200 rupees. You know, just to make sure I got those out of the way off camera and explained what they were. Now, there were two charts that I haven't opened yet, and those were the ones I obtained in the auction. One of which was very cheap, and it leads to Windfall Island, believe it or not. So, why don't we open the other one, which was slightly more expensive. That one leads to what looks like Three Eye Reef. And those two special charts, I haven't even opened them yet. So yeah, we got through every single Great Fairy except for the one on the far right. That's going to be our final Quiver upgrade. We'll deal with that later. The Sea Hearts, of course, yeah, in Windfall, there's actually five charts that do lead to heart pieces. Which is actually pretty cool. Alright, with that in mind, I think it's time for us to get a move on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Am I forgetting something? Oh yeah, I haven't even got far enough in Windfall yet. Number 18? So yeah, I do have to go further up. To find the light. And hopefully I don't get blinded by it. <laughs> uh oh, I think I might have... No, I didn't pass it. I got this pretty dirt cheap. Maybe I stumbled upon a gold mine here. This could be very good. Just to find something. In the meantime, while we wait to see our reward, whether it be rupees or a heart piece, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. Hmm. 100% Colombian. And no, the coffee doesn't have any ground-up Colombians. Ow! Oh, really? One rupee? Can, can you believe that? And I went through an auction for this. Well, it could have been much worse in the grand scheme of things. I mean, still, I'm not happy to get only one rupee, because you're going to be needing a lot. We practically got our rupee total to 19.99. Day of Lavos, great. So, what I should do is head over to Ice Ring Isle, because there's another treasure I need to get. But, I could go to the uh, Private Oasis next. Why? Well, why not? There's actually a treasure chart I can get in that very area. And I believe in the actual cabana, there's another chart you can get that's very important. So I figure since it's on the way to Ice Ring Isle, why not go there instead? Come on, it's not like I never made detours before. I made detours much larger than this. See the west side of the sea? And then after the Wind Temple, I plan to go to the east side of the sea. Remember, the east side of the map has been completely untouched. Can you believe that? Like, doing all this sailing and there's still parts of the map I haven't even visited at all? Like, this entire side, including that square? That's just unbelievable, am I right? But in due time, because I have a feeling I'm going to need... Well, actually, no, there's no spoiler because this game's been out for 10 years. I am going to need the treasure you get in Wind Temple to... Make my traveling throughout the east side a little bit easier. That way I don't have to skip over certain parts and then have to come back to them. Because that would just be a colossal waste of time. With that said, I'm better off just going this way right now, deal with the dungeon, and then come back to do my last bit of Great Sea Exploring. I don't care if this tornado sucks me up, it's just going to turn me. In the opposite direction! Thanks. Okay, I do believe there is a treasure chart outside the cabana. 
Well, it's around the cabana, but just on the outside of it, so I don't want to go inside. I just gotta remember where exactly it is. But I do remember I require the Deku Leaf to get through to it. So, with that in mind, let's finally go in there. Can I go up this way? I should be able to. Yes, I can. Good. Alright. Oh yeah, I did go to Outset Island off-camera to take on that minigame with Orca again. I got the 300 uh, hit score beaten. I got 100 rupees as a result. I have to do this. Remember, 500 hits to get the heart piece. That's going to be an absolute pain in the balls. Trust me on this one. Okay, I got to remember where exactly I get this treasure chart. I believe it's something involving the waterfall. Can I just go up there? Okay, what way am I facing? East. Okay. Let's see, is it possible to even get up there? And will I need the Deku Leaf for this? Good question. So I'd like to get this out of the way first since I'm in the immediate area. And then actually go inside. Okay, it worked! Good. Yep, there is something on top of this. Alright. There we go. Now let's grab the spoils and see what we get. Well, obviously I already spoiled it. It's a treasure chart. But what I'm not going to spoil is where exactly it leads. Maybe it could lead to rupees. Could lead to a heart piece. I know it doesn't lead to a chart because that's usually the reef islands. Or like the uh, reef treasure charts usually lead to. What ch chart number was it? Ah, 27. Okay, that looks like a bunch of small islands together. I don't ex know if exactly you can land on them. But in any case, we got over here, which is good. And I still got that cabana deed from much earlier in the Let's Play, and I'm finally going to get a chance to use it. Too bad I can't replace the King of Red Lions with his... Prince of Purple... Giraffes, I don't know. I, I tried. Giraffe is usually the animal I go to when it comes to random jokes. Don't ask why. You are clean! Most foul! Don't lay those grungy hands... Wait, that... That... That's... Why, that's the... Are you... Are you the new master? Are you Master Link? Ah, I'm so pleased to hear that name. Master Link! Please be gentle on this fine door. I am so thankful you have a knob on your wrist and not your... Never mind. Wait, it's your hand! Clever. Alright, so, yeah, this is the slider puzzle here. If you solve this, like, a set amount of moves, you can get, like, well, you know what you get. You get rupees. It's a total pain in the ass, trust me on this one, and it's not worth your time. I mean, if you're good at slider puzzles, all the power to you, but I'm not, and I would rather not subject you and myself to this kind of torture. At least there's a lot of rupees in these pots. So that's pretty good news in itself. But that's not the reason I'm here. Just to get rupees. I mean, granted, rupees are a good thing. I just wish uh, every one of these green rupees were, well, silver ones, and then we won't have to worry about rupee problems ever again. But we can't always get what we want. You do need the grappling hook for this. This is a switch. Pull that down, and we can go this way. And this actually leads to a mini dungeon. Whoever put a dungeon in there, I have no idea. But that must take a lot of craftsmanship. And was this actually kind of ancient? I have no idea. Okay, there's a switch over here. I wonder if I can reach it. No, I cannot. Okay, there's some rats over here. This could be a problem. Not because of the damage, but I can steal my rupees. 
let me drop down here. No, let me put the sword away. That way I can actually crawl. Did I knock something down? I have no idea. Okay, I've done this before in the past. I'm just trying to remember where exactly everything is. But hey, I'll take the rupees, even if this is a dead end. And indeed it is. That means I have to go the other way. Fair enough. But that is a nice payday, if I say so myself. Could have been nicer, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Can you imagine being a little overweight trying to do this dungeon and then getting stuck? That'd just be a tragic way to die. And, uh, did I just go in circles? I think I did. How annoying. Alright, so unfortunately this does not have a mini-map, therefore I have to rely on my own judgment to get around. Um, I think I could go this way. I don't think I've been here before. And the phone rings. Great. Time out. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue on. That was just my sister. In any case, let's keep looking around and see if we can... F oh my god, are you serious? I went this way again! Okay, now this is just getting beyond ridiculous here. I bet you I'm going to go the wrong way again. Mark my words. Okay, I did not go this way, I believe. I just want to give myself false hope and believe that I'm going the right way for a change. Okay, I hear enemies. This could actually be a... Are you effing serious? Wait, what if... I can't believe it. This is just going to be me going the wrong way for like 30 minutes on end. Uh, you, uh, you bet that's going to happen. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is, this is bad. You need a mini-map for this kind of crap. I need a mini-map for this kind of crap. You know what? I, screw it. We're not going to make that turn. We're going to go straight. I'm finally going to do something groundbreaking here. This could actually... This could actually be the right way. I know there are maps of this online, and I really should have looked them up before I went this way. But I didn't, because, you know, I'm such a smartass. Which is now me being a dumbass. Okay, by hitting both these switches, it looks like I can open up this place a little. Which is good. I'd rather this place be more open-ended so I know where to go, rather than not know where to go. I heard there's also re-deads in this dungeon as well, so I had to be careful with them. Hopefully I know what I'm going to get myself into. I mean, I've done this before, but it's been years. So I may not have everything completely memorized. Believe me, if I did, I wouldn't be going to the same place numerous times, mind you. Hey, getting here for 100 rubies, that's not bad at all. Even though that's not the main treasure of this place. I'm not going to complain. What I will do is just go the other way, and hopefully it'll lead to the main treasure, or at least further on. Avoiding some re-deads, hopefully. Uh-oh, enemies are near. Can you imagine if there was actually enemies attacking you while you were crawling? That would really kick in your claustrophobia, don't you think? Just all of a sudden enemies popping out through the walls. And you see like no warning signs. I was like, ah! Just wouldn't know what hit ya. And then people would die of heart attacks. Not saying that's a good thing, because believe me, it's not. But I'm just saying it's... A there's a potential for that to happen. Okay, something tells me I should go down here. I'm gonna need to find another way to get to that switch. You know what? That rat can die. Okay, it's taking me back where I started. Which goes to show I'm making some progress. Oh, uh, hi. 
die. And bye. That pot had nothing? What, what kind of teacher would own a cabana that has zombies in them? That must not be part of the deed. At some point, when she was writing the deed, she must have forgot to mention, oh, there's three deads in the basement. Have fun. How do you mess that up? At some point, you had to have heard something. It's like, I'm hearing loud noises. Maybe it's zombies. No, it's probably the wind. That's not the wind. The wind doesn't scream and paralyze you for a few seconds. That would be the worst wind ever. And speaking of wind, how coincidental, it's time to play this song. So this must be the right place. The wind's requiem. And with that, I should get the Triforce chart. Finally, then I can be done with this godforsaken maze. That maze is not amazing. Trust me on this one. So we got two Triforce charts. Remember, there are eight in the game for eight shards of the Triforce. And you do have to pay a good sum of money to get them translated. But I'm not going to get them translated yet, because remember, I still have to go to the Wind Temple, which opens up the way to more of these. I really hope I'm going the right way here, and I'm not. What I should do is look for a way that leads upward. Oh, nope, that's not the way. It's this way I want to go, I believe. So I want to go back to the start. Damn, you got a rat problem, too. I mean, sure, a rat problem is not as serious as a zombie problem, but come on now. You got so many rats flying around. I mean, there's no excuse to miss, mess that up. Thank God the knob was on his hand and not on his ass. I would not want to turn that knob if it was positioned right there. Alright, so now we'll finally head south to Ice Ring Isle. So why don't I meet you there in a couple minutes? Okay, I finally made it to Ice Ring Isle, and in order for us to actually get in there, you see that statue over there that looks like a Freezard from Ocarina of Time and Major Majora's Mask? You have to aim a fire arrow at it. And if it hits, you're actually able to stand on the island for like five minutes. Why five minutes specifically, I have no idea. Not 4.59 and not 5.01. It has to be five minutes on the nose. That's how powerful these fire arrows are. They are specific with time. Yes, unfortunately, Link tends to slip a lot on the ice. So before I actually head over to uh, get the uh, inside for the main treasure, there's another treasure you can get over here. And yes, the time manages to stop for you. Unlike Final Fantasy VIII, where the time just keeps going. Even for, like, the worst possible times. But anyways, we got ourselves yet another treasure chart, and I'll open that after I get done here. So we gotta find a way to climb up, so I can get into the middle. There's going to be one spot around here that will allow me to climb, and I believe this is the place right here. Good. Oh, I had to try a little bit lower. There we go. And there's some more rupees encased in ice as well. Okay, it's not encased, but I'd rather not worry about that. Whee! Because I want to get over to the treasure that's over there. Whee! Ah, no! I actually stayed on. I am like Jesus. Then again, I don't think Jesus uh, hung around ice. Was there any reference to the Bible about ice at all? I don't think so. It was probably perpetual summer, or like, all season long in Israel and Egypt and God knows where the Bible made references to. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Okay, we're just gonna hop across some ice flows and hopefully I'll be able to make it. Without any problems. There we go. We're 
almost to the main part of the dungeon. Well, technically it's a mini dungeon. But you know exactly what I'm talking about, and yes, more ships are attacking you while you do this. Not that it's going to be an issue at all, because they're quite easy. As long as I keep moving, they won't be able to hit. Okay, so this is where I need to go. Oh, keys. Not the keys. They're in my eyes. Oh my god. Uh, let's see what's in this pot over here. I got plenty of arrows and plenty of magic. Oh, fairies. Well, I guess I can afford to catch one. But I'll put it on the new bottle because I'm so nice to that girl I just taught a lesson to. Uh, Mila, right? Yeah, it's Mila. Maggie is the rich, spoiled brat that has a crush on a moblin. God damn it. Oh, oh now they leave! Why? Now you keys are being absolute dicks. Why was I still... I was, I was still targeting? Damn it. Don't fall off, Link. Now is not the time. Whee! Break. There better be an easy way to get back up there. It's not up here. Um, I don't quite see where exactly I can just climb back up and start again. Do you see it? Because I sure don't. The keys, I'm telling you. That's why I hate them so much. This only happens when I'm recording, because I did this on the first try. Okay, here we go. I don't think I'm supposed to swing, though. Oh, this is not looking good. I mean, I'm almost at over a minute there. It's the case, I'm telling you. Now you understand why I have such pure vitriol for keys or any kind of bat creature in video games because they threw me off when it came to that slide I mean had it not been for them I would have done it so easily you don't get another chance you just die okay I take my time easy easy Burn it! oh my god I'm gonna make it Oh, so like 40 seconds to spare. I do admit that I could have done much better. But now we got the iron boots. These iron boots are so heavy you can hardly walk, but the wind can't blow you around when you wear them. Hmm, how convenient. Okay, there's the exit, but first, we'll actually put on the iron boots. And then just screw up again. Because there is a grotto over there. Like, through that hole? So why don't I meet you there? I swear to God, I'm not this clumsy in this, like, area. It's only when I'm recording that I'm this bad. And again, I did alright when I Let's Played Ocarina of Time, like, what was it, four years ago? Yeah, I believe it was four years ago. The Ice Cavern was not a problem. Then again, this is coincidental because you get the Iron Boots in the Ice Cavern in Ocarina of Time as well. If you think about it. Great, looks like we got a fight. You should be thanking me for this. Instead, you want to thank me with death. Ouch! There, now you have no armor. And then soon you will have no life. See? I told ya. So I guess I have to kill every single one of these enemies that are encased in ice so I can get some treasure here. That sounds fine by me. When I get done with this, I'm going to stop the video. Why the hell are you dancing like that? It's like a moron. You're embarrassing yourself from the Moblin race. I thought Mo was bad. Rupees! Another Moblin? How the hell did you guys even get in here? Were you guys just looking for treasure and just having me frozen alive? 
seriously. Cannon really needs better help. You know, the kind that actually won't get themselves encased in ice. And all that for an orange rupee, that's not bad. Money is money. There's also some spoils orbs that I haven't even triggered yet. Speaking of the Knight's Crest, I still need to bring 10 over to Orca, which I already have enough of. But I just haven't done that yet. I'm gonna wait till I actually have to go to Outset for certain tasks. And, but trust me, I will be going there soon enough. I don't really care what's in there. It's probably just another pot. But anyways, we're done with this place. And yeah, you don't have to worry about the time limit. You can go there as much as you want. Then again, well... Why would ya? If I got everything, what's the point? Well, almost everything. Now I got everything! Alright, I'll stop the video right here. In the next part, we're gonna meet, meet up at a Gale Isle, which is where the Wind Temple is. See ya, everyone. Thanks for watching.